Larry Nasser, in the meantime, now known as a convicted sex offender, but it wasn't always that way. Before the allegations against him came to light, he was a well-known sports physician. 24 Hour News 8's Brady Gillum met the reporter who first broke the U.S. gymnastics sexual abuse story that ultimately led to Larry Nasser's fall from grace. Well, it was a tip to a newspaper reporter that eventually broke the story against Larry Nasser. That reporter went to Grand Valley State University and was back tonight to talk about the story that changed lives. The seriousness. Before Larry Nasser was in an orange jumpsuit, before he pled guilty to sexual assault charges, and before hundreds of women came forward with allegations of abuse against him, he was a well known sports doctor who worked for Michigan State University and USA Gymnastics. There were a lot of people who felt that, quite frankly, our piece was wrong. Indianapolis Star reporter Marissa Kwiatkowski and two of her colleagues broke the story about Larry Nasser's sexual abuse in September 2016. Rachel Denhollander broke provided the first tip. She told us that she hadn't told anyone what had happened to her, but that for the first time she thought she might be believed and she wanted to share her story with us. Den Hollander was soon followed by two other victims who said Nasser had sexually assaulted them. And once we knew that there were three people with similar allegations who were sharing their stories and had no connection to each other, we had a club level gymnast and Olympic medalist and their stories were so similar, we decided to really focus our attention on Larry. Kwiatkowski says there was a lot of pushback to the Nasser story. After all, Nasser worked at Michigan State University and was running for school board at the time. We were so meticulous in the editing process that we knew when we published that Larry Nasser piece that the information that we gave the public was accurate. Now, Marissa says she still works at the ND Star and has no plans to go anywhere soon. In Grand Rapids, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.